Hey everyone, welcome to another crochet video. Oh, this it's a is market a market recap. Wrap. Yes. Re wrap up, whatever you want to call it. Results. Yes. So We got them. We <laughs> just recently had a local market. Yes, it um, was last Saturday. Right. It was from 10 to 4, or 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Yes, it was like one town over. Mm -hmm. It's actually the town that my husband grew up in, so that's a lot of fun. And it's it was kind of like a little harvest celebration. Yeah, a lot of the towns in our area right now are just having um, like street fair type stuff mm -hmm. to celebrate the fall. So this was another one of those, and this was our first time doing this one. Right. We were going to do it uh, last year, but I think we had a conflict. No, they had too many crocheters already last time. No, so but we, we were going to do the winter one. Right, but and then, then we couldn't do it. Right, we couldn't do it. But we're planning on doing the winter one uh, this Gotta year. Gotta see if we can get in. But I have heard that this event uh, has really grown a lot in mm -hmm. the last few years. So it's it getting was well attended. It was well attended. Yeah, it was smaller than the other um, like town based street mm -hmm. fair that we did a few weeks ago. But honestly, it was a lot bigger than I thought yeah. it was going to be. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to uh, put some video clips here as we talk about it. Yeah, the second that we got there, we realized <laughs> we're not going to be able to film a lot during this because we were... We were right next to the DJ. We were. So a lot of copyrighted music, of course. Like, we can't be posting all that. But right. The DJ was a lot of fun. They were playing a lot of great hits. They also were taking requests for oh. donations to uh, either the animal shelter or the food pantry. Right. So, yeah. So, that was my a lot husband of fun. made like three requests, which were a lot of fun. Yeah. He, the first time he disappeared, we were like, where did he go? And then we saw him over at the table. Yeah. So, that was nice. He got some donations in for the uh, local animal shelter. Now, this was a really nice uh, event because it was very kid oriented. They had a lot of activities they for the did. kids. Yeah, they had a lot of things like a scavenger hunt. There was like a touch a truck thing happening, which right. I didn't know was a thing until like that day. Right. I didn't know. I'd never heard of touch a truck. They had an art show. They had a decorate a skeleton event. They had a animal, uh, a dog costume contest. Oh my god! It wasn't any animal. It was just dogs. Unfortunately, right. how could they? Uh. <laughs> so there were a lot of cute dogs there, of course. Mm -hmm. But the people were super nice. Everyone running it was nice. The the um, customers were really nice. So mm -hmm. that was fun. Yes. Plus my in-laws stopped by. And the weather <laughs> could not have been any better. Oh, yeah. It was like the perfect day for it. And we really lucked mm -hmm. out because we were at the end of a row. So we were able to yeah. set up our table on the side as well. We, we like doing do... an L shape. Yeah. Which, uh, the next, the next, uh, not the next one, but the one after that one, we know, is tight quarters, so. Well, I don't know. This one, next one might be tight quarters as well. I don't know what to expect. Well, that one's on the street, so I don't. Maybe we'll be okay. I, don't, I, don't I think it'll be okay, but this one is, like, kind of indoors, and I think it, tight quarters is going to be a problem for us because. We're going to have to figure out something We else. really rely on that L shape. We like to have as much stuff as possible right at the edge of the tent, mm -hmm. so, like, as much surface area as we can get so that people don't feel like they have to walk in. They can just look from the outside because I'm an introvert myself. And yeah, I think it's intimidating to have to walk it into be. a booth. So when, our, when all the crocheters are like, oh, we, we love the Z formation, but that gives me anxiety. Yeah, you I know... know myself like I try to avoid going into other people's booths when I'm in that kind of situation yeah like, even before we started doing this kind of thing I'd be more likely to go in now but like right. before we started doing this kind of thing I would just because like I feel like I'd be obligated to buy something right like I'm an anxious I feel person. bad if I, <laughs> I and I mean I guess that's why they do it but you're also losing customers because it's too anxious for me. Well, I have found that this particular setup works really well for us. Just mm -hmm. have everything right on the edge of the tent. Right. And it works. So it's we do yeah. it whenever we can. Exactly. Luckily, we were able to have both of our tables right at the edge of the tent. So mm -hmm. that was awesome. In the future, like for the one that I'm thinking that's tight quarters, we're probably going to have to do some sort of a tiny L. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Like the table <laughs> halfway in the tent and then like a little table on the side or something, but we'll figure it out. We'll that's we have I'm, a little bit I'm of time. I'm worried because that. we have a lot of stuff and I it's hard, you know, 
because you might you may be missing out on sales because we don't put everything out all at once. Mm -hmm. We hold stuff back either to replenish or we just don't have facing for it. So when things sell out, then we pull out other things. Right. But we probably could have sold those sooner. Well, if, you know, but... It is what it is. Yeah. We're only limited to the amount of space that we have on the table, so. Right. But I'm that being said, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with our current setup. Oh, I love our current setup. Yeah. I love the natural wood. I love the green of the tablecloths. Mm -hmm. Everything just works together so well, in my mind, anyway. Yeah. Well, let's get into what everybody wants to know. Wants to know. <laughs> the results. All right. So, the report. Yes. Um, this event, the booth fee was so low. Oh, chef's kiss. Mwah. I know, but like they should be charging more. <laughs> they could be charging more. The booth fee was only $35, which is insane. I think even last year it was like 25 but I think they bumped oh it up God. a little bit to keep up with inflation or wow. something. Wow. But um, yeah, only $35. I think they keep it low also because to help us, there are a lot of local businesses that are showcasing their business there and they're, they're giving away freebies and they don't want them they're to They're not have really to like selling stuff. Like a million dollars and then have to give stuff away on top of it. I know so. some events do have different prices for... Oh, for vendors. Businesses. Slash business, for, yeah, yeah. Versus like actual like craft vendors and things like right. that. But... Yeah, this one was $35 for a 10 by 10 space. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we were situated directly across from another crocheter. Right. Very lovely, wonderful person. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Very sweet. We chatted with her a bit. And yeah. she also had some amigurumi, mm -hmm. but all of her amigurumi was made with acrylic, acrylic yarn. Yeah. So it was definitely a different vibe. She had some other stuff too, like decor and like houseware. I would type say stuff. she only had about fifteen percent amigurumi. I don't know. She had quite a bit. She had a lot of like pot holders, trivets, yeah. um, some hats, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. The amigurumi at the most was twenty percent. Yeah, um, but I felt like we had a lot of different stuff, so it wasn't like. Yeah, we didn't have anything the same except for maybe the turtles. We had some but, of the same animals, but they were just a completely different look because hers right. were with acrylic and ours were with, like, plush yarn, chenille mm -hmm. yarn. Um, there were a few troublemaker young boys who kept trying to stir up drama, being like, are you guys rivals? And we were <laughs> like, no, <laughs> she's, like, a really nice lady. Yeah. It's okay. I don't know what was up with that. But. It's just boys being boys. Like, middle school boys, but, you know. Just the boys blowing off some steam. <laughs> but anyway, um, we ended up selling 94 items. Wow. Which I was not expecting. I was going to be happy with just selling, like, a few hundred bucks that day. But right. it ended up being a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. So, I'll give you the total sales at the end, but let's right. go through what sold. Okay. So, let's start with the keychains. Okay. So we sell our keychains for $10. And, of course, all of the patterns uh, that we're talking about here are going to be in the Google, in doc, the Google doc. doc document. And just a reminder, if you are looking at the Google Doc on your phone, in order to get to the links, you have to be looking at it with the Google Docs app. App, right. Because Google is like that <laughs> but if you're looking at it on the computer you should be able to open stuff up no problem yeah so that's the story with that mm -hmm. um i know some people were having issues with that so maybe in the future like maybe the next google doc we will do differently i don't know yeah but um we'll, ha we'll have to explore our options with that mm -hmm. but let's get into the keychains okay, okay so we sold one dog keychain very cute yes one mushy pop mm -hmm. one possum one whale, and one capybara. Right. Very fun. <laughs> so those are all the keychains. I love the keychains. Yeah. That's also, something that we just started making, well, I just started making like a couple months ago. We only had a few even before that. Yeah. Like, we, just you the really ramped up the, the keychains. Um, leggy frogs. Well, I feel like, I, I don't know, I'm not even sure when I started making those, but you are like the keychain lady. I'm the lady. keychain lady. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few, but... I don't prioritize them as much just because I know you have so many. So I'm like, she's got that. Like, yeah. I'll make them when I can, but if I don't get to it, it's not the end of the world for me. 
Well, I feel like you don't like to make them that much as well because I some of them I use like acrylic yarn. Yeah. And I know you hate working with acrylic. I don't hate working with it. It hurts your hands. But it hurts my hands if I try to do the same volume of stuff as like right. if I was using plush yarn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I love making other stuff too, but I've just been making plushies for almost the entire year. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. anyway... I also just wanted to mention too, if you are looking for a specific pattern that we mentioned that is not in the doc, just leave leave it just in the let comments. Let me know. I'm we've been really bad about answering comments lately, and I'm really we've sorry been about really that. Really busy. Yes, we have been super super busy with our other job, which is covering Big Brother on our other YouTube channel. Right. That is ending in a few weeks. We haven't even looked at our vegan channel in the longest time. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, again, if you're looking for a certain pattern and it's not in there, let me know, and I will try to get that to you and add it to the document. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, other non-keychain sales. Right. Okay, so I sold one uh, big possum, mm -hmm. uh, six chubby frogs. Those were very popular for you. That's something uh, that's fairly new. Mm -hmm. It's a, that's a, all uh, from Jane? Yes, all from Jane pattern. Yes, and I do it with the blanket yarn. And uh, I just can't stand putting the eyes in those bobble stitches. It just drives me insane, but I force myself because I know how popular Those went uh, quickly. It is. Yeah. They love it. Yeah, people love those. Um, we also sold six of the leggy frogs. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites that you make. It's so cute. I it know, just has such a happy face. Yeah, I know they were like all the rage for a while, and people have been saying that they are not selling as many, but like mm -hmm. they've still been really great for us. So they have been really great. Maybe our area just hasn't been saturated with them yet. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we sold one mallard duck. I haven't even brought these guys in a while just because like I didn't have time to make more of them in, mm -hmm. in a long time. But people, I've had multiple people asking me for ducks at other markets. So I was like, you know what? We're bringing these mallards. I only have three, but we're going to bring them. Mm -hmm. And we sold one. So that's fine. I do want to make more of those because I think they're really cute. They're fun. Yes. Um, so we sold five of the small sea turtles. Mm -hmm. The friendly red fox ones that I make. Um, those are always popular. Yes and no. It depends where they are. I feel like people were able to get to them pretty easily this time. So they were... A big hit but like mm -hmm. sometimes they were on the side too yeah but we had a nice area where people could walk up to the side and see mm -hmm. it um we only sold one mini whale that is shocking is probably that true that's what it says that's probably because people were buying your other small items i guess you had the frogs and the turtles this time that's funny because we almost always sell out of the mini whales i know hmm. and we only sold five of these small chicks with the frog hats that's surprising. I gotta too. say, a lot of people were going for bigger items in this one. That's true. Yeah. We did sell a lot of small items, but people wanted some of the bigger ones too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so five of the chicks with the frog hats, mm -hmm. uh, two of these small chalky mushroom boys. Right, still popular. Yeah, I don't bring as many as I used to, but I still you used sell to bring them. A lot. I know, I still sell them pretty consistently, so I'll keep making them. Mm -hmm. um, we sold four bees. That's unusual because I thought bees had kind of had their heyday, but this they're was, still popular. This was the first time that I sold one of my pink on pink bees, too. Mm. First time. I made those for Valentine's Day last yeah. February, and no one bought them. But now somebody bought one, which was very exciting. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm not sure. I think it's a really cute pattern. I don't know if I'm going to make more after I sell right. off what I have of them. Just because I feel like we're kind of moving on to other other ones but we're always trying to bring out new patterns fresh. and you know because we don't want to just keep making the same stuff yeah especially if we are doing repeat markets mm -hmm. like we don't want to go back to a saturated yeah we want to have you know. some new things yeah um we sold seven of the mini ghosts you know what because we had more of the halloween stuff mm -hmm. some of our usual smaller items took a that's little bit true. of a back seat that's true yeah this was um this was the second one this fall that I brought the Halloween stuff to. So seven right. mini ghosts. You finally found the uh, yes! little coffin. The little coffin from Michael's that we've been displaying them in. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find it, and my husband found it buried away in the back of one of our closets, the hall <laughs> closet. So I'm glad you found that. Yeah. Thanks. Because I think it, it makes a difference. It does. Because like, oh, look, they're in a coffin. They're in a coffin. <laughs> 
Uh, we sold five of the mini Octos. Right. Always popular. Yeah. This was the first time that I actually, like, brought out some T-Rexes. This was from a dinosaur bundle that I got a while back. Yeah, you made those a long time ago. And I just... And they never made it to market. I never right? ended up bringing them. Or I brought them a few times and they, they never made it. they didn't get put out. Yeah, because we just had so much other stuff. But this was the first time I was like, all right, they're going out. They're going on the risers. And they did okay. I sold three yeah. of the tiny T-Rexes. Um, super cute. I actually made a few of the dinosaurs from that bundle as well for my nieces and nephews for Christmas last year. Right. So that was fun. Um, Did they like them? I think so. Okay. But I mean, like, they're still, like, really young except for the one So they one. couldn't say they did. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if they actually like them. Um, you sold eight tiny turtles. That was very popular. Those are a hit as well. The TTs, as I like to call them. <laughs> yeah. The tiny turts. Um, we sell those for $5, so that's, mm -hmm. it's a hot item. It's a hot, yeah. Yes. I mean, kids like the little stuff. Right. Because... Parents like the little stuff, too. Because a lot of parents will say, you can spend $10. Mm -hmm. You can get a bigger item for $10, or you can get two small items for $5, and a lot of the kids choose to get two small items. I will say, we don't have a ton of items that are just $10. Right. We have five, we've got eight, we've got 12... I think we have a few things that are ten dollars, but it's limited. Like mini elephants, sitting bees, like right. Not a ton though at the actual ten dollar mark. Maybe we should look at that a little bit. Yeah. Um, speaking of sitting bees, we sold one of your sitting bees. Yep. It was marked the correct price this time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was also the first time that you brought the no so fish. Right. I think that's also an all from Jade pattern. Mm -hmm. You sold it is. one of those. I think we're going to be putting those. We have that little bathtub display. Right. I think we're going to take the chicks with the frog hats out of there and start putting the little fish right. in there. I also just made that like the night before. You, yeah, the, it was literally the night before. And it was on the side and it was kind of buried. But I'm also, they're like this big. They're well, tiny. You'll, you'll see a picture. But uh, we're also making, I'm also making uh, a bigger version out of the full-size uh, sweet snuggles or, mm -hmm. or um, home. And they're gorgeous Chenille. because you are oh, using those, you. like, glitter eyes. And I just yes. think they're so pretty. They're substantial. Yeah. I think that that is a $10 item the bigger one and we're yeah gonna keep the you see that's another good fine. that would yeah. be good to have a ten dollar item like mm -hmm. that yeah those are super cute um so and they're we'll, very quick we'll be adding those in for our next event um i even actually made one at the event yeah that's right because we had a few minutes here and there mm -hmm. and it really doesn't take any longer than 20 minutes tops from start to finish it's mm -hmm. a good one yeah. Um, I sold five mini pumpkins. This is a new pattern that I'm using by um, Crochet by Janina. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a free pattern on Instagram. These are adorable. They're so tiny. Oh, my They're God. Small. I used the uh, the Bernat mystical yarn mm -hmm. for the actual pumpkin part. And then I used uh, the Michaels yarn for the... Mm -hmm. And I used mystical again for the little, like, tendril. They're so lush. They're super tiny, though. They're, like... So cute. They're they're like squidgies, you know. They're they're just like oh, I just want to yeah. walk around with this. Yes. So I was happy to sell five of those. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just do those for five dollars. So they're a nice little like quick. It's I, a cute little pumpkin on my desk thing. Yeah, I had it in mind. If you got a lot of people that really like Halloween, maybe they want a ghost and a pumpkin, and that's right. still only ten dollars. Yeah. So I think that's a good deal. Um. You sold your, you had one little, like, stick-up cat left. Yeah. And you sold it to the nicest lady who showed she us showed a picture of her cat. She showed us a picture cat. of her cat that it looked like. Yes. And did it look like her cat? Um, not exactly, but <laughs> close enough. We'll take it. Her cat yeah. was a beautiful, beautiful. Russian blue. Mm -hmm. Love those cats. Okay. Um, I sold one mouse. I didn't really, I only had, like, a few of those. Yeah. I was trying to make them the night before, and they were, like, hurting my hand. So I was like... <laughs> I'm going to take a break from this, and I'll come back to that soon, but for right now, I don't even know if I'm going to have them for the next show. We'll see. Yeah. But they're cute. Um, so I sold one of those. Only one rat. I'm surprised. It's okay, though, because... We had a lot of other stuff, though. We got some big stuff coming up. I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, I sold two... I had two spiders, and I sold both of them. I have one, like, it's just out of reach. Yeah. But we'll show a picture. Yeah. Um... 
Yeah, people really like those. People love the spiders. Yeah. Spiders. I think... So, the first time I brought them was last time. And I had, like, one. Mm -hmm. And I put $20 on it. Right. And it went really quickly. Mm -hmm. So, this time I decided to just raise it a little bit. Because it's a decent amount of work with all the legs and everything. So, I put it at 22 It's funny. When I first saw that pattern, I thought, who's going to buy this stupid spider? People love the spiders. And then I saw it in person after you made it. And it's I was cute. like, that's really... All right, let me just grab it. Yeah. <laughs> It's really cute. I know a lot of people are afraid of spiders. I personally am not. I find and them fascinating. And this is made with the mystical yarn. Yeah, so people love that. So I sold both of those, which was nice. Mm -hmm. um, I sold two axolotls. Standard. Yeah. <laughs> those are very quick to make, so yeah. um, that's fun. I sold two skunks, mm -hmm. which is exciting because I feel like they don't get... They don't get the love they that get they should attention. be getting. They are one of my favorites. Yeah. And they just haven't gotten as much attention. But I was happy to sell two of those. You sold your donkey. My all from Jade donkey from her book that just came out a couple months ago. You actually have two donkeys. You have a bigger one. Right. Which we didn't bring. Right. And then you sold the smaller one. Mm hmm Which was super cute. And the girl that bought that donkey. She loved it. Was so nice. She came back multiple times. And every time she came over, she brought someone else with her. <laughs> and she was like our hype and girl. And then at the end of the festival, she or fair or whatever you want to call it, she brought over a bag of apples oh from my her God. farm. She was handing them out to the vendors. So we got a huge bag of free apples. And we apples. just had some today, and they, they were, were delicious. Good. She was such a sweetheart. She was. Um, You sold two of the hot dogs. Very Every, cute. Everybody who saw the hot dog was like, oh, that's hilarious, but then didn't buy it. Only two people bought it. I feel like they bring a lot of people over, and we have, like, I feel like last time you sold a bunch of them. Did I? Yeah, you sold quite a few oh. last time. But it's hit or miss with that, but I do think they bring a lot of people over. Yeah. Um, do oh they my bring God. all the boys to the yard? Yes. <laughs> I sold one of my big pigs this time. Honestly, I was so sad to see him go, because I've had that big pig for a while. I think it went to a good home. I think you did too, but oh my god, because those pigs were like one of the first things that I made, Yeah. and this one was I in the remember. jumbo yarn. That and was in um, like a blush, right? Yeah, I mm -hmm. love it. It's Yeah, I have some that are in not-so-natural pinks, Yes. but this was the pink, like natural pink one, and mm -hmm. oh, so cute. So, I was happy to see him go to a good home, mm -hmm. but also sad for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, this was the first time also that I brought some stegosauruses from that same dinosaur bundle as the T-Rex. So, I sold mm -hmm. two of those. Um, you sold one of your sitting cats. Right. I'm running out of those. I gotta re-up those. Yeah. Um, I think you need more in natural colors. Yeah. Because people like to get the cats that actually that look, look like their cat. cats. Yeah. Um, I do think some people like the more funky colors too, but mm -hmm. they have like, their place. Yeah, I feel like most people want the true to right form <laughs> cat colors. Um, I sold four of the small Mabel chickens. Always popular. Yes and no. They can be hit or miss. I feel like a lot of people are like chickens. It's like the hot dogs, but then they don't actually get them. They have the stupidest little faces on them that people it. just love. It's just like. <laughs> just like the leggy frogs. Yeah. Uh, you sold one of your Gordon the Gators. Right. I just love that pattern. It's so cute. It's Stacey really makes... easy, too. It's a, it's a very quick, easy pattern. Yeah, you just sew the head on, right? Everything else is no sew. Right. Uh, you sold one mermaid. Because I only had one. Yeah. That's always a hot item. Yeah. Um, I like to call it the chapel room. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's got the a same similar hairstyle. haircut. Yeah. Uh, I sold one bat. Mm -hmm. Gotta love the Halloween items. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised the bats weren't more popular. Well, I only brought one. I thought you brought two. No, I sold the other one oh, okay. to a customer from a different show that wanted some more Halloween stuff. Right, I actually dropped right. off her order to her today. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so I only had the one bat, and mm -hmm. he sold. Uh, and that was also with the, the mystical yarn. Right. Uh, you sold, oh my god, your kangaroo! The adult kangaroo. The adult full-size kangaroo Beautiful. that I just made last week, I too. think that one was going, uh, into a baby's nursery. Well, I think I it was correctly. a present for a baby, for a baby shower. shower. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. 
Uh, I saw one mini elephant. I need to make more of those because yeah. I only I'm down. Those to a don't few. get as much play. Honestly, there's just so much stuff on the table. We usually don't even put them out until right. other stuff sells out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do want to make more of those because I think they're cute. They are very cute. And I think that's a Nooks Hooks pattern. Um, I sold one dragon, the No So Crochet by Jenna Dragon. Right. This one I made with the Big Twist plush yarn so it was huge it was it was medium because it was like it barely fit in the bag yeah <laughs> the biggest one that i make is with the jumbo yarn from michael's right then i make this one this right. was the first time that i made it with the plush which i will do again right and this was in the variegated pastel which oh i love that yeah it's such a great combination of colors um i originally bought that yarn to make the cheeky turtles the booty turtles right but they just don't do that great for me. So I think I might no. just take that yarn and make some more dragons with it. The cheeky turtles are hit or miss. They yeah. are, yeah. It's got to be they the right They can crowd. be hot or they can be like... I no. feel like the adults are more into those than the kids. Except that one kid at Strawberry Fest. Yeah. He was obsessed with it. Yeah, oh my god, that's right. So this dragon, uh, I was really excited to sell it for... Mm -hmm. I think I charged 45 for it. But this girl, she came over and she picked up like three of our it's most like, expensive yeah. items. And, and she's like, Daddy, I want these. Yeah. It was so, like Veruca Salt. Well, she was a lot sweeter than Veruca Salt. Well, yeah. But she had expensive taste. But then um, the dad bought her the dragon and the mom, as they were leaving, said, she's this. <laughs> Wrapped around your yeah. finger, baby. It was a fun little interaction. It was. <laughs> And then um, right before we were wrapping up, we sold one of my big sea turtles with the jumbo yarn and one of your big dumpling cats also with the oh, jumbo yes. yarn. So, I like those big dumpling cats. They're, they're very so huggable. They're so cute. They're like little pillows. Mm -hmm. Love it. So that was our whole situation. What's the total? So like I said, we sold 94 items, which right. was awesome. Uh, our sales... <laughs> One thousand and fifty four dollars. Nice. Which I didn't think we were gonna get anywhere near that. So we earned ourselves a little charm to make a stitch right. marker. And you got I got the cowboy boot. And I got <laughs> a little camera. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. That's something that we look forward to. I don't know, if you're new here, every time we make a thousand dollars at a craft fair or event, we buy ourselves one a little stitch charm. marker. Yeah, yeah, to make a stitch marker. So that's fun. Um, so taking out the booth fee, that leaves us with $1,019. And of course, like you're going to have square fees, which I did not look up. Right. <laughs> you're going to have I don't material think they costs. That many. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm elated with that, honestly. I thought we were going to make maybe like 500 bucks that day. Yeah. So it was very surprising in a good way. Yeah. It was a wonderful day. And now we have another market in a week. Well, a oh, week and two days. Stop taking the days away. We still have a little over a week. A week and two days. <laughs> yeah. And this one's going to be a big one. This is probably the biggest one we've ever done. Yes. But. By far. But I don't know if it's going to be our biggest sales ever because there are so many vendors. There's a lot more competition. There's four separate vending areas. <laughs> so, so we'll see so how we do. So when they say there's 40,000 people. I would take that as divide that by four. Yeah, they're not all going to go to every single area. But 10,000 is still pretty That's good, too. a lot too. of people. So we'll see how yeah. we do. I'm excited. I hope it's going to be a good day because it is outside, rain or shine. Mm -hmm. But we will show you guys how that goes. And we're making a lot of special items for that because it is... Themed. Themed. It's an Apple Festival. Mm -hmm. So we're making a lot of Apple plushies, which we'll show you in the next video. And the one after that is a pickle festival, which will also be making specialty items. Yeah. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, everybody, so much for watching, if you made it through this whole thing. Yes. I'm sorry we couldn't get more footage at the actual event, but we didn't, we couldn't with the music going. Yeah. And it was pretty busy, too. Like, yeah. every time I pulled out the camera, somebody came over or, you know. Yeah. It was, it was pretty busy. But... Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back soon for more. And I'm hoping with Big Brother coming to a close, we'll be able to post more consistently right. and bring some other stuff to you guys besides just market recaps. We want to show you guys new patterns we've been trying out. Right. All sorts of things. So We have a lot. Yeah. 
brought a lot of patterns we that, did. We're, that we're working on, too. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, much, much love. love.